Welcome to Alter Vigo, and today we are exploring the UK's first eco town, Elmsbrook, in northwest Bicester. Elmsbrook is a 393 home development that is in the first phase of northwest Bicester's eco town that will eventually provide 6,000 homes. Homes will be fitted with solar panels, rainwater harvesting systems to save water for use in the gardens, and a combined heat and power unit. Any excess power generated will be sold back to the national grid, saving on energy and reducing costs for residents. Environmentally friendly transport schemes will be paramount. Cycling will be encouraged with a dedicated cycle lanes and paths, public transport networks that are easily accessible with fast links to Oxford, and an electric car club which will provide charging ports. Residents will be able to pick fruit and veg from communal herb boxes or a garden fruit tree and are able to grow their own produce in the community allotments and orchards. 40% of the village will be green space and wildlife will be encouraged to thrive with a nature reserve, meadows, ponds and a country park. Bird boxes, beehives and bug hotels as well as meadow turf roofs plus new tree and shrub planting will sustain and attract a diverse range of species. A part of the final development will be devoted to green allotments, play areas, sports and recreational facilities and acres of interconnecting cycle and walking paths. This entire project will hopefully inspire people to learn from the site and see the future. Every home has been designed with the future in mind, minimising waste and improving efficiency by keeping homes naturally cool during the summer and warm during the winter with triple glazed windows, highly energy efficient doors and higher than standard cavity and roof insulation to restrict heat loss. All of this is potential to reduce household bills. Homes at Elmsbrook will use less electricity than the average Bicester home. Heating and hot water comes from the district's heat and power system, so no more worries about boilers, while each house has rooftop solar panels to generate electricity. They are also aiming for one new job per new home created, and that job will be easily reached through cycling, walking or public transport. We interviewed Lewis Knight from Bioregional, who told us a little more about the project. So Bioregional are an environmental and sustainability uh, consultancy charity and social enterprise. We work with a wide range of partners across the world to help develop sustainability solutions. We're here today at uh, Northwest Bicester, uh, the UK's largest um, eco town. It's 6,000 um, homes. Elmsbrook is the first phase of that, which is just under 400 homes. Firstly, um, the uh, homes adopt a fabric first approach, so um, you have really good levels of um, insulation. You have triple glazing on the windows, uh, but there are also very large uh, photovoltaic panels on the roof. And actually, reportedly, uh, when uh, the scheme is finally finished, it will be the largest residential PV array in the UK. One of the big things is that as you build uh, better and better um, homes and the operational energy used decreases, actually the embodied carbon, so the carbon locked up in the materials, um, increases as a percentage. So this development, Elmsbrook, really tried to look at how we can reduce the embodied carbon content of new homes. So there's a number of interesting uh, materials, such as uh, timber frames used uh, to uh, construct the buildings, but also recycled aggregate um, and uh, concrete used within the construction of the buildings. So for example, the bricks uh, look like a lovely Cotswold brick, but actually they are uh, crushed recycled aggregate uh, made to look like that type of brick. So schemes like this are really, really important. I think it, firstly, it's important to say that you don't get everything right all of the time. So developments like this really show the art of the possible and really try and push the boundaries within the built environment sector. We know that we are facing a climate and an ecological emergency and that we have to change the way that we build new developments. And so this scheme here really tries to show what can be done. There's some amazing initiatives and design interventions used here, ranging from the way that their homes are heated and powered, all the way through to how you create a more cohesive and equitable community. The Perch co-working building 
is probably one of the greenest commercial buildings in the UK. It was the UK's first Passive House Plus non-residential building, developed by the local authority here, Cherwell District Council. It's currently operated by Town Square, who are a fantastic B Corp. And really, it plays a crucial role in the transport strategy and the community strategy here at um, Elmsbrook. It provides a local place for uh, local residents, not only of Elmsbrook, but also wider Bista, to walk and cycle here or get here by bus to work, to meet, to network. It also provides small serviceable um, offices for companies such as Bioregional, ourselves that work here, but also provides a key community function by providing a place for a small eco cafe for uh, recycling facilities, etc. I think the public realm here and the green infrastructure is really high quality. You've got some amazing green open spaces here, the sort of green corridors that um, connect the different uh, residential areas provide a real um, haven for people to interact with nature but also sort of get away from roads and, uh, and, and the sort of modern life in that way. But I think also it provides a really convenient and attractive way for people to move around not only this development but also to connect to wider Bista which is only sort of five ten minutes that way um, and they can do that easily and safely and conveniently by walking and cycling. We at Alta Vigo thought this development was fascinating. Walking around and filming the area was a treat, certainly somewhere I would personally enjoy living. This approach to housing is the future. A focus on sustainability is important when building homes and we think this deserves to be celebrated. There are plenty more examples like this. If you wish to see more, please like or share this video and consider subscribing. We have plenty of more great content planned. Please feel free to let us know what you'd like to see in the comments.